are listening to the Creator Mindset Podcast, episode number eight. Welcome to the Creator Mindset Podcast, where artists, performers, and entrepreneurs share knowledge that will kick off your career and take you to the next level. Turn your vision into reality with your host, Ariane Leanza Hines. This episode is the first coaching on air episode of the Creator Mindset Podcast. Aiden Amore is an actor, an artist who wants to create his own project and came with a very common question. How do I get started? I have all those ideas, but I don't know how to get started. So in this episode, you're going to learn how to nail what makes you unique and showcase your unique self to the world. You're going to gain clarity on what your vision is. And we also talk about how to understand who is your target audience and we'll find ways of consistency while sharing the process in a creative way. If you want to build a solid foundation to your voice and brand, you can go on arianleonzahines.com forward slash A to get access to the seven keys, a video series where I share the seven steps to build your voice and brand. Also on December 9th, I am holding a mastermind live online with many amazing artists just like you. Some people who are just starting off, some people who are a little bit further on the way and you'll get to experience the power there is to surround yourself by people who are on the same path. It brings inspiration, courage and insights into your next steps. Myself, I am part of a mastermind and this is why I and making this podcast. It inspired me to actually go out in the world and share what I know, what I've learned in the 25 years of being in the music industry. So if you're curious on knowing of what is a mastermind, sign up for free at www.arianleanzahines.com forward slash eight. Also there, you're going to find the show notes of this episode. And if you're listening to this episode after December 9th, Connect with me through my main website and I'll keep you updated on the next possibility to join a live mastermind. And now let's listen to the Coaching on Air with Aiden Amore. Aiden Amore is a transdisciplinary artist active as an actor, performer and plastic artist in France, Switzerland and the United States. Issues related to dynamics between the sexes, to gender and to sexuality mostly fuel Amore's practice in the search of means to liberate oneself from the conditionings inherited through family, society, and culture, thus helping one to reconnect with a sense of true self and embrace the full experience of what it means to be human. The purpose of such a practice is based on Amora's strong belief that it is through the conditioning that the individual can access higher levels of consciousness in which tolerance, respect, and preservation of human diversity will serve as blueprints in the building of healthier and more harmonious communities. Welcome, Aiden. Hi, Ariane. Thanks for having me here. Thank you for being here. I invited the artist on my newsletter to reach out if they wanted to be part of an on-air coaching podcast series. And Aiden answered to the call, so thank you for that. Thank you. I am very excited to be a part of that. So I had signed up for the Creator Mindset Summit this past summer and was active in the Facebook group, and that's how we connected for the first time. And now we have a common friend, too. We found out the singer-songwriter Mane. And so, Aiden, could you tell us what brought you on this call and what's your challenge? What would you like to accomplish? Well, seeing your invitation um, to talk with um, artists um, who are facing some issues or problems to solve and my my problem's not actually a problem but I am just facing now uh, the start of a a very important project which is the, um, the, the production of my first feature film that I'd like to write and direct uh, in which I will star among a group of other actors and facing this thought, I was like, how do we start that when you actually didn't go to film school, 
when you don't when you don't have any money and yeah i mean you have to start somewhere and and so this is why i reached out for external consultation um yes mm -hmm. absolutely so when i work with new clients we have a process to go through to really nail down what makes you different and how you want to show up in the world in being unique and in your own art. So I think here we're going to go through a few questions to really nail down what would be your project, I think, and then maybe how to start gaining the money, the fans, and the support that you need to actually bring it to life and into reality. How that, that, does that sound? <laughs> Exciting, <laughs> even though I'm a, a little a little scared, but this is good. This is very motivating. <laughs> Great. All right. So before starting anything, we should be clear on how we want to do it, what we want to do it, and why we want to do it. And of course, also who we want to do it for. So the first question today I'm going to ask you is, knowing you could fail, what would you start doing today? Huh, knowing I could fail, what would I do today? So you have to really think about something that whatever is the outcome of it, it doesn't matter because the process of it is what matters. Yeah, definitely. So the stance I would adopt today uh, thinking about that is like you say um, in investing all my energies and focus on what's going on in the present moment and not project too far like having a vision but always bringing bringing it back in the present and see today what can I do to take the next step? So not to get um, to get caught by some megalomania or or too ambitious thoughts. Yeah. Bring it back in the present. Yeah, and take steps that will actually realize your vision, but also following your intuition and also being open to people bringing you something new. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of like thinking, oh, I have to absolutely do that this way. Yeah, this exactly. Is the, this is the mistake we always do or always often do. Mm -hmm. So what is a project that would excite you so much that you could actually do that with the project? Um, preparing for the skull, I was, and I'm preparing since, since now a few days um, knowing that we would call each other and in this preparation I've been actually uh, already fantasizing about some exciting creative and artistic means to start being active today uh, in order to fulfill this uh, drive I have to to produce a film and I came up with this idea of since I'm interested in making movies and storytelling through movies, I came up with this idea of why not starting a very simple recording of the process through a movie uh, and through daily recordings, very simple of what is my journey since we're, uh, we're drawn to, to people to people's journeys and stories. So I came up with this idea of instead of already projecting too far and telling the story of characters, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I tell the story of of an artist trying to make a story <laughs> and, yeah. and doing something? That is that is a fantastic idea, I think. People love stories. They love to know the process you're going through. Very often we see the final product, but we don't know 
how immense and huge and wide the work behind the project was and the journey. Sometimes it takes 10 years to make a movie, sometimes two. And in those two or 10 years, there's a lot going on. And I think it's a great idea to show that process. Even like recording just a snippet of you on the call right now and saying, here, see, I am just having a coaching session to get gain clarity on what I want to do. And then... Do you want to share a laugh? (laughs) This is what I am actually doing right now. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Fantastic. All right. So let's take now that project. Yeah. The fact that you're going to journal and post about your journey on creating the movie. Yeah. How would you be able to realize it? What do you need now in order to realize that project? Well, um, many things come to my mind. Um, First of all, commitment. Uh, It's it's something that I start in, in which I have to find consistency uh, for myself first, if I want uh, people to follow me, I just can't take it as a joke and 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 do it for myself uh, for fun every two or three days. Like it, it should be something that I start considering seriously myself, so that I have enough material to share with a future audience. Yes. You have to be committed 100%. This is one of the yeah. most important quality for success. And when it comes to consistency, you always have those do- those doubts coming up and you're going like, oh, but is this really the right project to do? Do I have time? And you start like making compromises with yourself and this is um, something that you should realize you're doing that and stop doing it and just commit but it's easier said than than done but <laughs> i i i think that this is the, the first focus it's uh, so it's so funny because i just recorded another episode for the podcast and we also talked about the self doubt and i said that i will record a whole episode just about self doubt because it is so present in artists mind and it is very much an obstacle in our own worst enemy. So, yes, self-doubt. Self-doubt is our mind wanting us to be staying wherever we are and not moving forward. It is our mind saying, this is danger, don't go there. (laughs) It is our mind trying to keep us in the little box that we built for ourselves until now. So what I say to that mind, I say, thank you very much, but stay behind. Don't drive my life. You can be there. It's okay. I love you because you keep me safe, but you're not driving my life. Yeah, right. So it's not about denying it. It's not about trying to ignore it because that won't work. That actually makes it even more panicky and even more wanting to come up in our minds. So what we want to do is to acknowledge it. That's the first step with the self-doubt. Acknowledge the self-doubt. Thank the self-doubt that, yes, you're keeping me safe. And then tell the self-doubt, this is not putting my life at risk. Because the self-doubt doesn't make a difference in between you crossing the street when there's cars that could hit you and you filming yourself and showing up in your art it doesn't it doesn't see the difference as Mm -hmm. just a reflex to keep you where you have to be so we have to know where the self-doubt can come in or not. Like when you're crossing the street and making your life in danger and your physical body in danger, thank you, okay, I'm going to stop and not do that. But when you're filming yourself and showing up your journey as an artist, that is not a danger. But the mind, the 
the, the self-doubt mind or the you know lizard mind doesn't know the difference. So we have to make it clear to the lizard mind what the difference is. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. So committing is one thing. And then the second part of the commitment and the consistency is to not let the self-doubt drive you, but to really keep to the plan. All right? Makes total sense. <laughs> so, all right. So, and then next step is to keep in integrity. So when you say something to yourself, like, I am going to, I am going to post three times a week about my journey, keep your word. Don't commit to something you think you're going to break your word of. And even if you don't want to, at one point, like, oh, no, I'm going to just post one time this week. Don't do that. Because what it does, what it does, it's like it's feeding the, um, it's feeding the non-integrity. It's keeping you from actually actualizing what you want. It's like a, a vicious circle downwards. When you commit to something, you say, okay, I'm going to do that three times a week. It's a word to yourself. And if you don't do that, and if you don't commit it, and you don't do it, then you are actually feeding the doubts, you're feeding your beliefs that you cannot do it, and you're proving to yourself you're unable to actually do anything. So instead of proving to yourself that you can't do anything, I want you to do it even if it's not perfect. Yeah, and this is where lies the challenge because uh, I catch myself, and this is certainly not the case for only myself, but for a lot of, of other people, of uh, being caught by this uh, disastrous <laughs> perfectionism that keeps you from 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 showing to an external uh, look too much of your work because it's not ready or because it's not perfect or because exactly. uh, it's part of the process and not the final product. So this is, yes. I guess, something I have to reverse in the balance. Absolutely. So this is, the, this is one of the downfall for artists too. It's wanting it to be perfect. It's better done than perfect. Especially if you commit it to a consistency, better done than perfect. And the next step will lead you to the next one. If you never do the next step, you're never going to get to the next one. You have to keep on going when you said three times, four times, or every day. I know people who commit to an everyday task. And if they do it, magic happens in their life because they're really stepping out of their comfort zone once a day. They're doing it. Mm. So perfectionism is really the enemy of progress. Because when you want everything to be perfect, you don't make, or you make progress, but very little one. You know? Yeah. When you, when you commit to something and you do it every day or every other day, somehow it opens up doors and some things happen that you that were unexpected because when you step out of your comfort zone, that's when the magic happens. Yeah. But this leads me to the question of what is, what is the way for me to find this consistency, the creative way? Uh, is it through, I mean, there are thousands of ways to, to, to keep your your audience uh, or your future audience um, with you in the process? Is it through social media? Do you post on Facebook? Do you create a YouTube channel? Do you... So this is also where this is the stage I am, I am at. I have this drive of creating material, but I don't have yet the routine of how I'm going to create this material, how I'm going to put it out there, to whom so this is this is yeah this is the subject of our talk what is the real starting point of this whole process yeah. there are many many ways to keep in touch with your audience so who is your audience 
That's the first topic. Who is my audience? Um, first, I will um, clarify what I mean for that. Yeah. In order to talk and make content to some virtual person, you have to have one person in mind because if you talk to the many, you actually speak to no one. And if you talk to one person, when you have one person in mind, then you speak to the many because you're going to touch them. So let's target now. Let's be clear on who is your ideal fan. Who is the person you're going to make your art to? And let let me be a, let me clarify again. It's not that you're not going to talk to the others. Actually, by talking just to that person, you will be able to touch all the others too. Mm. <laughs> so let's take let's take just one person. Who is that person that you want to inspire, talk to? Is it a male or a female? Huh. Male. <laughs> okay, so it's, a ma- it's a male. How old is that person? Mm. Probably, probably young, belonging to the same generation as myself. So between twenty and and twenty seven. Okay. All right. So let's say th- let's say twenty three. You have 23. to pick a number. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's a male of twenty three, and. Uh, how does he spend his life? Does he go to work? How, where does he hang out? Does he go to bars, concerts, gallery arts? Does he go to the movies? What does he like to do? Huh. Well, I imagine this person to be a little lost in the way one can entertain because we have so many so many ways to entertain ourselves being the the virtual sphere the medias or going to the movies but we see a lot of a lot of crap being put out there and and so i would like to address people that are hanging out yes to the movies yes on the internet um by offering some i don't know meaningful content something that is yes entertaining you but help you okay go forward <laughs> okay but you're getting into the content let's just really focus now on that one person on that one person yes so that one person i want you to describe it that's that's going to be your homework a 23 year old male who hangs out at the movies, he goes maybe to gallery arts. What is his job? Does he study? I want you to really dig into his life and have a, like a whole page of description of just that person. Because when you have that person in mind, then you can create and, de- and decide on which channel you want to start creating your content. Mm-hmm. because see you see <laughs> how it goes and then you can target your message you can decide okay i'm going to tell him what i want to say bring your dreams into reality yeah my my tagline is turn your vision into reality so i i decided on my ideal customer or avatar or ideal fan or ideal person I want to serve. This is the person you want to serve, the person you want to inspire. And then I know what I want to do is to inspire artists to turn what they have in their mind into reality. So you have to do the same so you can have one person you're talking to when you create any piece of art you're doing. You have that person in mind, and then you journal. And then you decide, okay, where do they hang out the most? On YouTube, on our Facebook, or on Instagram? Instagram is great nowadays because you need, you have like a framework of like one minute. 
So you want to create videos of journaling. So create one little video a day of what you're doing to make your film. What is your process? So I'm writing down ideas. You film yourself writing down ideas and then you put like, you know, there's this app. You can <clears throat> also put like some writings on it, like uh, journaling number one. And then you choose a hashtag about it. The process of an artist making a film, for example. And check first, make your research. What is the hashtag that's not taken or not taken by many? Mm -hmm. And de then decide on, on how long you want to do that. How long do you want to do your journaling? Do you want to do it for three months, for six months, for a year? When do you really want to start the movie itself? Maybe you want to make a crowdfunding in, in order to fund your movie. So all before the crowdfunding, you have to collect at least, I would say, 500 very steady fans that you have on your newsletter or on your Instagram following in order to tell them you want to do that. And how do you gain those fans? Is by being consistent, is by committing, and to do something that will, and hang out wherever they are. If you don't hang out where they are, then you're lost. Yes. You're pouring out content that doesn't matter to the people you're pouring it out. It's like giving water to someone who's selling water. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So you want to hang out where they hang out. I think the young crowd uh, hangs out on Instagram and on the Snapchat more than on Facebook. So, but you will tell me better. Well, uh, I've been thinking about Snapchat uh, not, not, not later than this morning. They were talking uh, on the radio about uh, those new um, TV, no, news channels or movie releases and documentary releases on Snapchat. Uh, so I think <laughs> this morning I really came up, came up with this idea of, of why exploring, why not exploring Snapchat? Why not? Uh, mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. could be a good fit. Uh, but since I don't know yet who's really my persona, uh, the person yeah. I'm talking to, that might not be confirmed that it's going to be Snapchat. I really have to study what's yeah, w w where is this place where people hang out? Yes. That I want to address to. So first step is to really write this down. And it doesn't take long. You know who you want to talk to usually. You really just have to take maybe half hour and get in the zone, how I say it. So it's a relaxed place where you're dynamic at the same time, but not stressed mm -hmm. and then and then you have a blank page in front of you and you describe that person and then the next step is to see where they hang out and maybe it's snapchat maybe it's instagram and then you make your research like how can i use snapchat the best how can i use instagram the best choose one option don't don't try to do everywhere to be everywhere and to do everything just one option mm -hmm. okay yeah and then focus on that option i know snapchat is like short-lived videos from what i know i'm not so familiar with snapchat even though my daughters are very familiar with it but not me so i would really make my research how does it work because i would want you to keep all those videos so you can repurpose them later. Yes, It doesn't course. mean you have to repurpose them now, but I would want you to have the collection of it organized and maybe then you release them on Facebook as a, you know, 30-day series or something. Or, but that's for later, just before you launch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? Yeah. First, first, you have to hang out wherever your fan is then you collect fans. 
you nurture them, you connect, you, you connect with them. And how do you nurture them? You nurture them by also going on their Snapchat, liking them. I don't know how it works, but you know, like yeah. you, you interact with them. Like they're really your friends and they are. And then when that is done for like maybe three, six months, I don't know, you collect all that you have had and then you make a launch plan for your either your crowdfunding or your movie itself. I don't know how you want to finance it. But that's the next step. The first step is really to have your ideal fan, know where they hang out, choose the platform that really matches your needs. Mm-hmm. And then choose one thing you want to do per day or per week. I don't know how consistent you want to be. And then do that and really stick to the plan. I would really make a plan for three months and write down every, you know, like the steps. And maybe you will change the steps. But if you have a plan, you have ideas. They are, they're already there, you know? Yeah. And then you stick yeah. to it. And then you collect emails that would be really good uh, to have a newsletter. And then you maybe, then you post, you know, like you, 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 you start on one platform and then you expand, but you have to really start with one thing. Mm-hmm. And then you schedule. You have to schedule everything. Always put it in your calendar. When it's not scheduled, it doesn't happen. <laughs> or it happens randomly, you know? And randomly is okay if you're an amateur, but for the pro, it doesn't work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Any other question, Aiden? Wow, no, this helps a lot. Like, I can't even tell how much it helps. It's so simple, but we avoid we avoid taking this time to, to just face this simplicity. It's, it's crazy. It, when, when you realize that it, it, you, you, it, it's such a nonsense, why, why shouldn't we take this time? It would help. It would help us saving so much energy and time lost. <laughs> Absolutely. So. The, the thing is, is that the, like we said before about the self doubt, is that the mind is in our way of taking actions. It is. Mm-hmm. So we, we, have to, we have to train the mind. This is really one of the first thing we have to do. And that's why I talked about self-doubt today. And I hope that helps. Yeah, it helps me and hope it help, it, it'll help other people, others. other creators. I hope so too. Well, thank you so much for being with me today. And I'm really excited to see this project come live. I will, of course, follow you and, of course, sign up for everything you will post. So so keep me posted and keep us posted. And in the show notes, I will link your Facebook or website that um, whatever you want to for me to uh, post so people can keep in touch with you. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, I'll share that with you. And I am very, very excited to, to share what something that I, I don't know how it's going to come out, but this is the exciting thing. So I will for sure keep you posted. I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Till, till next time. Bye, yeah. Aiden. Till next time. Take care. Bye. My goal for the Creator Mindset Podcast is to give artists step to move forward and inspiration to take action. So if you're interested in joining me for a live mastermind, sign up at arianlianzaheinz.com forward slash eight and experience what a live mastermind is. There you also find the show notes of this episode. And if you like the episode, we really do appreciate if you subscribe, share, and give us a review on iTunes. Thank you so much for listening to the Creator Mindset Podcast. Until next time. Thank you for listening to the Creator Mindset Podcast at www.ariannelianzahines.com. Mm-hmm.